Fila Unicorns and welcome back to my channel and beauty favorites of 2016. I'm going to try to make this video a bit shorter than the last one because that was like a year and a half and if we don't want to make this the beauty favorites of 2016 and 17, I better speed things up. I thought that I'd pick like one or two things from each category, well maybe I skipped a category or two. I don't know. But I thought I'd pick some things that either I've been using all through 2016 and there's like no competition even, that this is my favorite, and also things that I have been discovering during this year that actually is the best Jesus Christ. within this category um, from this year. And I have a lot of stuff here so we better get to work. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering about this makeup situation that's been going on right here, the tutorial for that look is going to be up on Thursday if you want to see how to create a colorful smoky eye really quick and easy. I promise you. Pinky pants. So let's start with the base and work our way out, up. I don't know, I'm lost. First one looks like it's been through a war and um, maybe it has. <laughs> this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothie Primer. This is my this is the best primer I have, and I think I bought it during this year, but this is mainly the one that I've been going to. You see that I've been using a lot of this one, and basically I use this almost every time I do my makeup. Unless I only have my makeup on for a really short amount of time, then I don't use primer at all. Uh, but I do love this one. Sometimes I have good enough skin to not have to fill in pores or anything like that, but most of the time I do use this to fill in pores and stuff, and I think this works amazing. It is definitely worth spending a little extra coins on because I love this one. When it comes to foundation, there is like no competition at all. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I've gone through quite a couple of these. This is how the container looks in Sweden. I don't know if it's all of Europe, but in Sweden it looks like this. I know you have the glass bottle in the States, but we only have the dewy finish in the glass bottle here. But the Matte Poreless is my absolute favorite. It makes my skin look flawless, and I've tried quite a lot of foundations. I mean, affordable ones and not so affordable ones, and this is still my favorite. Uh, right now I'm using 120, uh, maybe I should go a bit lighter now that I'm so pale, and I do have one that's a bit darker as well, um, for when I have a bit of a tan, which is not now because we're in December. Yeah. My favorite concealer is something that I discovered in December actually, but this is the best concealer I've ever tried. This is the um, Kat Von D Lock It uh, Concealer, I have mine in L7 Warm. It has the perfect yellow shade. It covers like nobody's business. I don't need to correct anything if I'm using this one. It is amazing. I have been using the Maybelline Fit Me and I think that's amazing too if you want to have a budget friendly concealer. But if you want to splurge on concealer, I do recommend this one. The Kat Von D Locket is amazing. I am super happy that I got this one. I will definitely be repurchasing when this is out. For days when I'm not wearing liquid foundation, which is, to be honest, most days, uh, I love using the Laura Geller uh, powder foundation, which is baked, oof, so well used, baked uh, balance and brighten foundation. I have one in fair, I could even go up a step. It looks marble like this. It's supposed to be domed, but I've been using it so much that it's not done anymore, it's flat. <laughs> this is such a good foundation. It actually doesn't make your face look that powdery. It makes it look, it has like a natural finish, even though it's a powder, which is so weird. It has like a light coverage if you're using like a powder foundation, but I also use this over my liquid foundation to make it be extra heavy duty full coverage, which is amazing as well. So this works over liquid foundation and it works on its own. Don't set your concealer with this, it's not going to work, it's going to be cakey, don't do it. But on your face, this is amazing. The Laura Geller um, Baked Balance and Brighten Foundation is amazing. I bought it, I think the beginning of this year, or I, I don't even know, but I've been using it like crazy this year, and I will definitely buy a new one once it's out. I told you when I started using this one that this was going to be my favorite of 2016 because this is so good. This is the Freedom Pro Contour Kit in Fair and just look how mine looks. First of all, look at the outside, it's so janky and <laughs> uh, the mirror is like crazy dirty. I had pan on it. This is so good. This powder is amazing. This is like a warmer contour shade but it's not orange. Even though it's warmer, I don't know how to explain. I love this little contour kit. It's basically 
It's so inexpensive, it's almost free. This is in Fair. I do recommend you getting this one. If you order from Tan Beauty, which is Makeup Revolution, Freedom, iHeart Makeup, all of these things, get this one. It is so good, you won't regret it. I've been using it, as you can see, a lot. And when it comes to bronzers, I'm using the, the Balm, Balm Desert so much. I actually think I'm gonna hit pan real soon because I can even see the dent in this one. The dent is real on this one. It has a really nice cardboard package. I love cardboard packages. I don't know why people don't like that. Cardboard packages with like magnetic ones like this, they're amazing. Balm Desert has like a satin finish, which is amazing when you have a bit of tan. I don't use it that much during winter because I'm too pale to be able to have like a satin finished bronzer, it's gonna look weird on me. But during summer when I had a tan, this was amazing. I, I've been using this like crazy. When I started thinking about what blushes were like my favorite of 2016, I have a lot of blushes that I love. I love using a lot of blush. Sometimes I feel like makeup tutorials that you see on YouTube, they don't have any blush. But it's because the bright lights, they, they take away the blush instantly. But I do love having a lot of blush on, I think it's pretty. And the one that I've been traveling with, the one that I've been reaching for the most, is this Brown Sugar by H&M Beauty. This is like a terracotta peach. It is absolutely stunning with every look. This is such a pretty color. It works good when I'm fair and it works really good when I'm tan as well. If you're anything between like light to medium, you're gonna love this shade. And the Asian and Beauty um, blushes smell like vanilla, which is pretty pleasant, and they have a lot of colors. This is my favorite one, but they have loads, and I have more as well. I think they're pretty. And yeah, I do recommend this one. This will be my favorite of 2016. It's the one I've been using the most. I actually used it just yesterday, so I still use it. I think it's amazing. Oh, I forgot to talk about powders, but let's just quickly mention Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. I've been using this all through 2016. Uh, we don't have that many brands easily accessible where I live, so I bought this one and I've been loving it and I still love it. I'm, no reason to buy anything else. If you're looking for a good powder, just buy this one and you're fine. I love it. When it comes to eyebrow products, I've been using the same thing over and over, but the best discovery of 2016 is this Tattoo Brow by Kathleen D. This is a really, really thin felt tip liner. I'm actually out of this. I've used it all up. It's pretty much dry, but I use this one to draw in some extra little straws. If you have really thin brows like I do, maybe you don't, doesn't look like I have thin brows now, but I have like non-existent brows. If you have that as well and you want to achieve like a fuller looking brow and you don't want it to be too intense, but today actually my brow is pretty intense, but you can use this one to just draw in some straws, or if you just want to elongate your brows a bit, this Perfect. I have one in dark, there is a lighter one as well. This is amazing. And I've used a couple of different uh, felt tip magini thingies for the brows, and this is definitely, definitely the best one. I'm gonna repurchase this uh, as soon as I get the stock on because I can't buy it where I live now, which is sad. I wish I could get a hold of Cat on these products easier because I love them, but yeah, I really do like this one. I thought I'd talk about cream eyeshadows. I don't use them that much on my channel, but I do use them a lot on my, my spare time. It sounds really weird. I do love it. And the best ones are the ones from H&M Beauty. This is from their summer collection. It's called Papa Blossom. As you can see, it is a beautiful burgundy red. It has a bit of a blue undertone. They are super opaque, they dry down, they don't move, and you can smudge them for a bit before they dry down. They are so good, I love this. And if you use this uh, under like a violet or a red base, it's gonna be so vibrant. I love the H&M cream colors, I use them all the time, I have a couple of them. And if you want to try some cream eyeshadows and you don't want to splurge and get one of those really expensive ones, just try H&M's ones, they have actually quite a few colors to choose between and normally when they come out with some limited edition collections they'll have like a color or two to pick from as well. I really really recommend these ones if you want to try some cream colors. Okay let's talk about highlighters. You know I love highlighters. I have so many highlighters. I have a drawer over here. A drawer full of highlighters. I will show you someday. Mm -hmm. On my channel we've been on the hunt for the perfect pink highlighter and to be honest the one that I've been using the most is Luxy Stripped. Let's see if I can swatch it a bit for you. It just it just looks so stunning. I've been using this like crazy. This is the most used highlighter 2016 for sure. I have a big dent in it and I just love this one. 
Mm. So let's get into my favorite eyeshadow palette of 2016. 2015, I said the Flaming Love palette by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics was the best eyeshadow palette of 2015. And 2016, Makeup Addiction Cosmetics has come up with two palettes. I got my hands on both of them and I did videos about them as well. They're here on my channel. I love both of them. I think they're amazing. And if this palette that I have down here hadn't been released in 2016, those two would have been my favorite for sure. So they're like runner-ups because I love the Makeup Addiction palettes. They're, they're fun. They're fun and unusual and have great pigmentation. I just really love them. But this palette came 2016. I love this one. This is the Masquerade. Oh, this is the Masquerade palette by GBS Place. This, if I had this palette alone, I'll be fine for a really long time because I think that these shades are amazing. Colors, neutrals, warms, some purples. I really love this palette. I think this is amazing. I know in the end of January she's gonna come up with a new palette as well and I'm definitely getting my hands on this one, that one. So keep your eyes open for me to review that one as well because I will because I love this one. And if you can get your hands on this one, do do that. <laughs> I bought this, I bought this and I shipped it to my American PO box because they don't ship to, well, US place don't ship to Sweden, but I got it to my American PO box and then shipped it to Sweden because I wanted that bad and I was not disappointed. Love this palette. I use it frequently, just a couple of colors, just one color, the whole look. I think it's a great palette. I thought I mentioned some single shadows as well that I've been using and loving, loving during this year. First of all is Matte Coral. This is so, so, so beautiful. I mean, it is a beautiful color. Let's see if I can actually swatch this a bit. It is like the perfect transition color if you want to like do a peachy look, but you don't want it to be like too warm because this is like a cooler peach. It's like a light coral. It's beautiful. One of my favorite peach colors. If I had bought this before I did my Make Your Own Sweet Peach palette, this would definitely have been in that video because this is so beautiful. I use this all the time. If you have your eyes on getting some MAC eyeshadows, I definitely recommend you getting Coral. It's beautiful. Next color I wanted to mention as one of my favorites is Bronze Peach by Coastal Sense. If you order from Coastal Sense, do pick this one up. This is like the perfect like pinky clay color. It is magical to have all over your lid and in your crease when you have a bit of a tan or an olive complexion. I also use this a bit to darken out my outer V when I'm doing a lighter pinky clay look. Oh, love this so much. I use this so much this summer, it's not even funny. It's super beautiful and pigmented and creamy and amazing. And the, this is only two dollars. It's crazy. You have to get Bronze Peach by Coastal Sense. I just did a video about my favorite makeup geek shadows, but I thought that I'd show you the three that I've been using most this year. This is Mai Tai. It is amazing. This pinky peach sheen is just gorgeous. I've been using this so, so, so much. I got a bit of a dent in it and I hope I'm not gonna run out for a bit because it's beautiful. It's like a peach pink duochrome thing. Next is I'm Peachless. I know that I've been talking about this so much on my channel and I'm sorry about that, but I'm just so crazy about this shade. It is so unique and beautiful and I love it. And I've been using it so much during 2016. I think I'm gonna hit pan on this one soon. So beautiful. Definitely one of my most used and loved shadows of 2016. And let's talk about the last one from Makeup Geek, which is Chit Chat. I love Chit Chat. I don't know why people are so afraid of blue eyeshadow. It's amazing. Just look at this. This light blue with the violet like shimmer to it. It is amazing. Yeah. You know I love blue eyeshadow. Just just look at the situation that I got going on. And this is super pigmented and pretty. I love this color. I think it is beautiful. Mm. Next shade is also from Coastal Sense and it is amazing. It's one I have in my like in my crease as my transition today. This is Periwinkle by Coastal Sense, another $2 eyeshadow. And this is a bit like it's not super opaque, which is good if you want to have this in your transition as like a fading out color when you do like color for smoky eyes, which I do all the time, and that's how I use this as a starter up color when I'm doing really colorful eye looks. 
This one is perfect for that and I've been using it so much. So this is Periwinkle by Coastal Sins. And the last single shadow I want to mention is from Luxi. This is Atomic. It was part of the Precious Metals collection and I don't think that this is permanent but it is a shame. We should start like a petition, make Atomic permanent because it is amazing. It is this super shimmery color that has a bit of a a bit of a pinkness to it, so if you match this with pink shadows, it's gonna look like a dusty pink shimmer, and it is amazing. I love this color. I've been using it so much on my lid together with Makeup Geek's Cupcake in the Grease. Beautiful. I actually have a Get Ready With Me on this channel somewhere where I'm using this one on my lid. It's beautiful. I can't do a favorites video without mentioning my absolute favorite makeup item ever. This is the Inglot Pigments. Let's see if I can show you like even a bit how they look. Do you see anything? It's like the Inglot Pigments have a bit of a binder in them. So they are not dusty. They don't fly all over the place and they're very easy to work with. And they are super uh, pigmented. This one has a duochrome finish with like purple and blue. I have a couple of these pigments and I'm using it a bit on my channel and also looks on Instagram. I love the Inglot pigments. If you want to, like, not splurge, but want to spoil yourself and get something that you don't really need, but it's so pretty and you can't stop looking at it, Inglot pigments is definitely the way to go. I love these, and every time Inglot has a bit of a sale, I always buy one or two because they're amazing. This one is 113. It's one of the new ones that I got 2016. Definitely check out the Inglot. Inglot's eyeshadows are also bomb. I just recently discovered how bomb they are. So good. I want to talk a bit about eye pens and eyeliners, and definitely the best eye pens of 2016s are this ColourPop gel liners, the the pen ones. They're so good. They are so pigmented. You can put them in your waterline and they won't move. This is my absolute favorite one. This is um, Prance, the light blue one. I've been using this so much. The only bad thing is that they break very easily uh, within the pen. I can even hear that it's broken, but it's fine. You can still use it. But uh, that's the only bad thing. But these are so amazing. I got this Prance one and then I've been getting a bunch of them because I think they're amazing. This light blue one is so good together with either a pink look like in your waterline or with, together with a blue look. Ugh. Love this one. You should try Prance. If you want to try some blue but you don't want to have cobalt blue, this one, the baby blue, so good. And when it comes to liquid liners, the ones that I've been getting in 2016 that I've been using and loving so much are this NYX Vivid Brights. I haven't been using them now for like two months or something and I need to again because I love them so much. I really, really love this yellow one. I think that's my favorite, but the other ones are really great too. If you want to try some, some colorful liners but you don't want to spend a lot of money on them, the next ones are really good. I do recommend these. My absolute favorite lashes of 2016 are the one I'm wearing right now. These are New Bounce and Bellas. But if you think that these are too expensive, the Duff lashes in Viva Glam actually look a bit like the, uh, the Bellas, but they're just not as fluffy. So these are like the light version of the Bellas. Both of these two have been huge loves of mine during 2016 and I love the style of lashes. They are not too flared and they are really fluffy and 3D-ish. I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> I feel weird just saying it. 3D-ish. Okay, let's get into lips. Lips are fun. Mm -hmm. The best lip liner is this NYX Nude Pink. Do you see how small mine is? It's because I've been using it so much. This is the perfect nudie pink. It's what it's called, Nude Pink. The NYX Slim Lip Liners are so inexpensive, I don't even know what they're made of. I mean, isn't that a bit suspicious when they're so inexpensive? You're like, what are these made of? But the Slim Lip Liners from NYX they're amazing. Don't go buying super expensive lip liners where you can get these ones for practically nothing. And the new pink is my favorite color. I love it so much. Not many people talk about bullet lipsticks anymore, but I love bullet lipsticks. And this is the one that I've been using the most. This is Modesty by MAC. And in my MAC swatching video, where I swatch all my lipsticks from MAC, there are a few. I mentioned that this is my absolute favorite. And this is the one that I've been pulling out the most during 2016. This has a bit of a cooler like a cooler brownie pink nude and it goes so well if you have like a cooler eye look like this but it also goes really well together with neutrals and it makes your teeth look a little bit whiter which is also amazing. I love modesty and even though it's a cream sheen it is pretty opaque and it's just the best everyday lipstick ever. And my absolute favorite gloss is this from H&M Beauty. It's the pure 
pure luster gloss. I've been using this so much. It's been in my bag. Practically can't read anything off the bottle anymore. It's so loved. This is in Ber Bermuda Sands and it is a like a nudie pink semi-opaque no glitter or shimmer amazingness. Go to H&M, buy some of the glosses, make sure you get Bermuda Sands. The glosses is amazing and really inexpensive and this one is my favorite. This over nudes has been everything this year. Okay, we're almost done, I promise. 2016 has definitely been the year of the liquid lipstick. Even I got on the liquid lipstick train and I started out saying I didn't even like liquid lipsticks. And I'm still not loving liquid lipsticks over a traditional bullet lipstick, but sometimes it has its benefits like not rubbing off lipstick on your man. Let's be honest, that's that's the only only good perk because it Sometimes it feels good and sometimes it feels awful, but I have found some formulas that doesn't feel awful that have been my favorites during this year. So let me tell you about some of them. My absolute favorite liquid lipstick formula is the JD Glow one. This is the Clay La Rouge. I talked about this in my current beauty favorites as well. I love this. I love this color. I have other colors as well. I have one new one that I haven't tried yet. I'm going to talk about that during my in the week that's coming up, but just look at the packaging. But the Clay La Rouge is such a beautiful burnt orange shade. It is beautiful on the lips. Also, I've been loving the Ofra formula. I have Tuscany, this one on my lips today. This is one of the newer shades, but also this one, which is Charm, which is one of the Manu and Manu Manu <laughs> Manu M U A. Uh, shades is beautiful. I've been using this so much. Maybe I'm even running out. I don't even know. Oops, but Charm, I love it as well. And this new one, Tuscany, I think it's limited edition. Go grab it. Just look at how look at how beautiful this is. It's like a burnt clay with a pink undertone. It's gorgeous. And the Ofra liquid lipstick formula is not totally bunch proof, but it feels amazing on the lips, and that is a big plus for me. And also let's give ColourPop some credits for bringing out so many cool colors, so many cool collections. And this one, which is the limited edition from Christmas, hence the black cap, is Naughty and I'm Naughty, which sounds like Naughty, yeah I know. This is probably my favorite one from them so far. Oh, I have some blue there. This is like a super light peachy nude, which is the perfect perfect nude on me. It looks amazing. Dries down totally matte, doesn't dry out your lips. Amazing. I know the limited edition is on sale right now and if you still can get a hold of this, do. But otherwise the new matte formula from Colourpop is amazing. I mean the old one, everybody talked about how dry it is. The new one, not like that. So do get some newer shades of the, it's called Ultra Matte Lip from Colourpop. They're amazing. And this Naughty is my absolute favorite so far. I, I never want to run out. It's like I want to save this watch right here. Okay, I just want to mention a couple of more products that are not beauty products, but like in the area. First of all, I want to mention glitter glue. If you have not discovered the amazingness of glitter glue, what are you doing with your life? This is the Too Faced one. Elf has one, NYX has one. Just, just get any one of them and it's going to save you so much hassle when you're working with glitter and pigments. It just makes everything so easy. If you have not gotten this yet, what are you doing? It's amazing. I thought at first that I was going to talk about a lot of brushes and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to mention the best brush. The brush that changed everything. This is the Morphe N433. Guys, this brush, it is like fluffy but dense. It is a bit pinched. It is amazing. Amazing for crease work. It works so good with colorful shadows as well because it doesn't blend them out too much and sheer them out and make them look muddy. This is great for preventing your colors from looking muddy while blending them. I will say this is not the softest brush you will ever use but it gets the work done and it's super inexpensive and I can totally live with it being a bit scratchy for this price and how amazing it works. Love this one. The last product I want to mention is my favorite perfume of 2016. Maybe many of you do not know this, but I most of the time use men's perfume. And my absolute favorite from 2016 is this L'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. It is the one that is the original, not one of the special ones. It is smells... <sighs> smells so good. I mean, on a man, of course, um, I'm sure it would smell sexy AF, but on a woman, it smells like a 
powerful, sexy, I can get things done myself smell. That's how it smells. Sometimes I feel like scents for women are like, they're too sugary, they're too flowery, they're too light. I feel like some of them smell like laundry detergent and I don't want to smell like that. I don't want to smell like soap. I want to smell like like I'm sexy. Um, men's perfumes really do that for me and this is one of my favorite ones. If you're in the store, just go and take a spritz of this on your wrist and smell it and like try to not think of it as a men's perfume but as something that you could wear as well and I'm sure that a lot of you would like discover what I discovered that men's perfumes are really awesome for women as well because who wants to smell like a soap? And that was it! That was all my favorites of 2016. I hope this video is not two years long. There's a slight chance it is. I am, I'm gonna have to cut a bit in this one because it's gonna be really long. Do let me know your favorites down below. I would love to hear because I can always find new favorites. And I think that was everything. If you're not subscribed already, the button is down below. I'd love to have you here. And I think that was it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!